speaking of no pet policy, lunatic doctor DNA gloats of new designer dog breed creation he plans to sell around the world. This asshole, <laughs> this asshole is now breeding Dalmatian French bulldogs and poodle French bulldogs because, hey, who cares if they're born into a life of suffering because their little faces are so smushed they can barely breathe? Who cares that they can't give they can't give birth naturally because the gait has been so crazy and their heads are so big? Because we wanted big flat faces. We wanted big expressive heads. We wanted those we wanted those big, big eyes because we like to look at animals that kind of look like us, kind of remind us of little babies. And we're all complicit. Everyone who sits there and says, oh, cutie, pooty, pooty, cootie, pooty about their dogs, I think this. This is what I think. Oh, but my, what about my animals? My, I love my animals. Animals, millions and millions, it's tens of millions of dogs and cats are euthanized every year. And these people are making designer dogs. Don't forget. Don't forget they were once proud wolves. And now... Dr. DNA is gloating of new designer dog breed. He's saying that he can have polka dot, polka dot French bulldogs and he can make them all of these different types of colors. He can get whatever he wants. He can, he could do anything. And I've seen the poodle, but I don't even want to share the photo. And I'm only now bringing it to market. His name is Gary Ferrari, Dr. DNA. Henning is his name. He was born with a natural no tail. Yes, we used a Dalmatian to make him many generations ago. This program we have been working on for many years. Mr. Polka Dot is what the animal has been titled. They refer to the pup as the first and only velvet big rope polka dot in the world. So sad, Bartleby. The BBC first exposed the Scott in January 2023 for creating the genetically modified Frankenstein pups in an investigation that revealed his intention to combine every marketable characteristic to create the rarest dog in the world. There you go. There you go. And you know what? Why not? If this is this is capitalism, animals belong to us. Human supremacy. Aren't we in charge? Don't we have dominion over the animals? Don't we get to decide who lives and who dies? Isn't this the psychologic the psychology of authoritarianism? Isn't this the gross display of tyranny that humanity has become known for when it comes to our interactions with animals? Isn't this what we all asked for when we when we fawn over little dogs that we thought because it makes us feel a certain way? It makes us feel a certain way, so we use them for that. I mean, is this any different from the Chihuahua that we've bred? Is this any different from any other animal? I wonder. I ask you, is it different than what we already have, than what we're already doing? Is this different from the pig? that we've bastardized from the boar or the horse that we've bastardized from the equine stallions? Is it is it any different than what we've done to the bovine species of the planet? We've cowed them. We've made them ours so that we can we can use them how we see fit. How is this any different? <laughs> and what I'm, what what blows my mind is that people who eat animals are are talking about this doctor DNA guy like he's fine. The dude the dude in Texas who was breeding large horned goats for captive hunting, he got 6 months in prison. 6 months. 6 months. <laughs> they should have locked him away and thrown away the key. Locked him away and thrown away the key. As it becomes easier to understand how DNA works and how breeding works, we're going to see more and more like this. Don't forget, we'll have we'll have miniature elephants living in our houses here pretty soon. We'll be those freaks of science fiction. We're almost there. Polka dotted, polka dotted French bulldogs is so freaking close. And if that's Frankenstein. Chickens are Frankenstein. Look what we've done to chickens. They get they get into mature weight in six weeks. This is a bird that can live to 17 years old, but they get to be mature weight at six at six weeks. At six weeks, we allow them to see the sunlight and then we bathe them in electrified water and slit their throats. 
six weeks. That's Frankenstein. This is Frankenstein. And Bartleby, I don't think anyone learned the lesson of Frankenstein. <laughs> Mary Shelley wrote a, wrote a novel that had a very clear moral. Maybe we should all read it again, Bartleby, or else we're destined to just live out that morality. We're, we're destined to live out the fate of Dr. Frankenstein as all of humanity. And maybe we deserve it. Maybe humanity deserves it, Bartleby. Oh, Bartleby. Oh, humanity. <laughs>